Okay, this is called spoofing the 14 CUX. Right, here's my Megajolt wiring, or the Edish wiring at least. These red and black wires are the power leads that go to the um, Edish coils. These are the ones that get the spikes on them, the flyback volts, which uh, tell the ECU, that the 14 CUX that is, that the engine's running. Normally it goes through some wires back here, through to four diodes in the Zener, so we get for every ignition pulse the, um, the 14 CUX sees a spike. Now what I've done here is, um, well, let's, let's see that in action first. Let's just um, start it up. To do the um, security thing. Right, when you start this, the uh, CUX puts the revs up and then drops them back and gives us a nice tick over. That's it, because it knows the revs the engine's doing because of the spikes. Okay, so if I turn that off now, what I've done is I've taken just one wire from um, this one here so it's just one out of the four coils now this just comes out here around the front across the other side and here is the connector which um, which takes the spikes into the CUX so if I just separate that and then put my other one in to, excuse me, just going to have to do this. There, like that. So now the um, we've only got one in four of the pulses going into the 14 CUX. So now, when I start the engine, it thinks that. Oh, sorry, that's the uh, immobiliser working. So now the 14 CUX will think that it's only running at a quarter of the revs that it is and will open up the um, stepper motor. And hence, ticks over at 1500 RPM. Ha! Lovely. Just what I wanted. Job done.